day, I can do this all night. Welcome everyone to Tag Team Tech. Today we have a comprehensive teardown of the Aerocool Predator Micro ATX Cube Case chassis in green and black. First off, we get a look at the Cube Case dimensions, which is 280 millimeters wide, 380 millimeters high, and 350 millimeters deep. Also on the side panel, we have a 12 and a half inch acrylic panel, which shows off your vertically mounted GPU. Here we have on our front panel our two USB 3.0 headers, our microphone and headphone jacks, and our two fan controllers, fan A and fan B. We also have our power button, which is extremely tactile, and our five and a quarter inch bay, which is hat, which currently has a DVD burner installed in it, which does not come with the case, but was pre-installed. Normally placed in the front panel would be a piece such as this. Now let's make our way inside the case. On the side we have these two easy to remove thumb screws right out of the factory in which we can remove the side panel by pulling back and out. Here we get a look at our removable three and a half inch bays which contain our accessory box. These three and a half inch drive bays are held in by clips and are easy to remove and install hard drives. Next we have our accessory box which contains all the screws and wires that we need for the case. Something special about this case is that it does come with a USB 3.0 to USB 2.0 adapter. In your case, the accessory box can be found in the third hard drive bay of the removable HDD trays. Here we have a look at the back of our case, which comes with one 140 millimeter fan, four expansion slots, a full size ATX power supply mount with bracket, and your two water cooling grommets. Next, we'll have a look at the back of our case, which will allow us to remove our motherboard tray. Loosening these screws here along the middle of the cage, we can find our one, two, three, and fourth screw in order for us to remove our motherboard tray. This case supports up to micro ATX and ITX form factors. In order to remove the top panel, you'll have to apply a bit of force to this handle here. Now we get a look at all of our connectors, such as our HD audio, our USB 3.0, our case power and reset buttons, our LED switches, and our power for our case fans. And also the pass-throughs for our fan controllers. Something to note with this case, you do need two separate Molex connectors in order to power both of the fan controllers. In order to remove the front panel, you do need to apply a bit of force to this front panel in order to pull it out, and which will present you with the mesh dust filter in which you remove using these seven metal retainers. Now we get a look at the mounting option for our five and a quarter inch bay. Here we get a look at our 200 millimeter green LED fan. On the top panel, you can find four adjustable airflow flaps for regulating the airflow and intake that goes inside of your case. The front of our case can hold up to two 120 millimeter fans, 
or two 140 millimeter fans. Being that this is a cube case, we also have similar specs for the top panel. Two 140 millimeter fans, two 120 millimeter fans, and one 200 millimeter fan. Also worth mentioning is that the power supply is side mounted. So Aerocool has included a magnetic filter for your power supply. Reinstallation will start with our front panel in which this is the order that it goes on. Afterwards, we start with our top panel. Simply replace the wires into the same hole in which they came out. Now we have the installation of our motherboard tray in which it only goes in one way since it is keyed. Now we have the reinstallation of our side panel, which you do by pulling inwards and then pulling it closer to the case. Now we have our similar installation method as the rear panel. Pull in and slide closer to the case in order to close the side panel and reattach the thumb screws. That'll do it for the breakdown portion of our case. While the aesthetic of this case may not be for everyone, I'd say it's an extremely well thought out case and well laid out. And while this color may not suit you, there are other colors available, such as all black, orange and black, white and black, and red and gold. And considering the current price points of this case being just $50, I would say is it, it is an extreme bargain. All in all, I would say that I definitely do recommend this case. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you liked this video and want to see more. This has been Houston from Tag Team Tech.